Hello, daydreamers. <laughs> Try that out. This is Josie. I'm just here for a quick video. I haven't made one in a long time. <clears throat> Pardon me. And I've been getting um, lots of, I don't want to say questions, but people buying the journals aren't really sure what to do with them. So this is just a quick video to show you some of the things that I do with a journal. Um, you don't have to be a fancy artist to have fun with yours. And I think sometimes I take for granted that everybody, you know, sees a fun blank slate when they look at an empty book, but that's not the case, I've been told. So I just wanna show you some of the things that I enjoy doing with mine. This book is not a journal that I've covered. I found it at Dollarama for four bucks. Got a nice sturdy cover, which maybe someday I'll fancy up, but I bought it because I just loved the saying on there. Ridiculously good ideas. So I just have to hope that nobody at work sees it and takes it. <laughs> and so far I've been lucky. So this book I use for all kinds of things you can see. Um, when you open it, it is completely blank notebook. And the reason I got it is because things pop into my head at the most inconvenient times and I have gotten in the habit of throwing this in my bag and when something comes to me, I like to write it down right away because anyone who knows me knows that I forget a lot. So I like to have something ready just to keep track of the things I want to do. So to do that with my empty blank notebook, I decided to put tabs in here so that I can use it for all kinds of different ideas. So this was super easy. You just take a little square of paper here. I've got one right here, fold it in half. And then here, I'll just, I'll just show you real quick. It's just a scrap anyway. I like my Tombow liquid glue. You can pick this up at Michael's. You can order it from Amazon. I just really like it because I sell my books. I want to make sure that they're not just going to fall apart the minute they leave my house. So I need something strong. And this is reasonable. It's about $5 for one of these um, bottles and it has a really skinny fine tip which is perfect for the little things that I'm gluing down but you can also pop open the other end and it spreads it on if you're doing a cover or anything like that. I usually just use the fine tip. Anyway, you just run a bead of glue down each side, glue on this side, glue on this side, and voila, you have fancy little index. Um, one of the things that I've been doing for my journals when I'm making these tabs is my corner rounder. I don't know if you guys have one, but I didn't do it on these dividers, but if you snip the corners, it just makes it look a little bit more professional, and that's what I'm always going for. So so anyway, there's that. So I've got a tab here, Daydreamer. This is where I jot down anything to do with what I want to make, what I want to sell, stuff like that. This one is for lists because I often have random lists. I'm sure you guys do too. Groceries. Hello, <laughs> anything like that. So I've got a whole section dedicated to lists. Right now it's empty because once I've completed the list, I tear it out. Otherwise I find myself with too much in here and it's overwhelming. I have one here for school. This is where I jot down um, decorating things that I wanna do. Um, sometimes I, put on like a, oh, for example, we did a Mad Hatter tea party. Well, then you've got to plan the decorating. You have to plan um, the teaching parts because it's school. So I want the things that I do there to be educational. We also did a huge, huge Hogwarts celebration before COVID. So this is where I can plan events and 
even work stuff like computer things that I need to do. And this is house to do. So I keep track of, this is where I've been keeping track of all the things, the jobs that I wanted to do at home since I have the summers off and then I can tick it off as I go. So anyway, that's that book. And this one comes in my bag, the beach, um, a drive, if I'm not driving, <laughs> and anywhere else, and it's super handy. So on to this one. Um, this is my notebook, and it's fairly basic because <laughs> any of the fancier ones I usually sell, but I love this quote. Uh, it's probably my favorite. And so I just cut it out with vinyl on my Cricut. It was peel and stick, put it on there. And this is what I use to plan my days. So it's blank right now because after school let out, I tore out those other pages so that I don't have to flip past them all the time. But I just wanted to give you a very, very quick little tutorial on how I plan my days using a plain old notebook. The reason that I do this this way is because I have a real love for collecting stationary supplies and that means planners, notebooks, anything like that and I have yet to find a planner that works the way my brain does and I find it discouraging that I have you know, a full planner that's already planned and dated for the entire year and I've filled out two pages. It's really frustrating. So at the beginning of the week, I mark myself out a calendar, which that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. And it takes me five minutes, gives me tons of space to mark down appointments, anything like that. And this one travels back and forth with me to school and I had a couple of inquiries about the journals that I'm selling at Meadow Mouse. Are they planners? Are they, you know, gratitude journals? Are they this, are they that? Yes, they're all of those things. You just need to take the style that works for you and put it in there. Um, I do plan to make some that are pre-made because I mean, we're all different and for some people they need it pre-printed but for those of you that enjoy having a little project and maybe have the same struggle that I do and need to find a style that works for you I just want to give you a quick quick little idea here so this is how I turn a regular notebook into my agenda so what I do is I take a ruler I have my trusty little, this is an old cigar box that I picked up in the free container at a garage sale and I love it because it's old and cool and whatever. So this is where I keep my markers. Over the winter, I invested in some dual tip brush markers. I'm not into calligraphy, but I do color a lot. I don't like doing nothing. So in the winter when I'm watching TV or in the evening when I'm watching TV, I like to color and so I got these cool markers but it turns out that they're great for everything. And I also in this box have one highlighter and some sparkle gel pens. I'd love to get another set because they're really fun to use. Um, I picked these up at the last scholastic book fair that I did at the school for like two dollars so you can find them at any local dollar store so to start off with all you're gonna need is a black pen and a ruler so I follow this pink index line down the book best I can and I start after like there there's the big space at the top so after that, I go all the way down. Then, across the top, I go all the way across. Now, this took a little bit of trial and error, but I count four spaces. One, two, three, four. 
and I know you might not think it's that much room, but it really is. Like when you're just jotting down a quick thing to remember or, you know, something like that, four spaces is plenty. One, two, three, four. And I take my ruler because I am terrible at freehand for making lines. They always go a little wonky. And by doing these four, you can perfectly fit a seven day plan on here. One more. So now we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And one more here for Sunday. Sometimes I go up a notch and I'll do five lines for the days of the week. And then at the bottom, when I have my final gap, I just cut it in half and I've got Saturday, Sunday because I don't plan my weekends very often. Oh, my pen missed a little spot here. There we go. So, now I write down what week I'm planning. So you can pick any color to do that. I am gonna use one of my gel pens. So we're into August. And this is the second. And we're on a Monday to the eight. I believe. Hopefully, hopefully that's right. <laughs> then I usually just take a regular, this is one of my smooth tip gel writing pens. So I'll go Monday, second, Tuesday, third, Wednesday, fourth, Thursday, fifth, Friday, sixth, Saturday, seventh, Sunday, eighth. You can see here that I abbreviate and I don't. <laughs> That's just kind of how I go. And then down here at the bottom, I just like to put a little star and that's just simple points to remember. I mean, maybe it's something that I couldn't fit into one of these lines or whatever. Then, since this is a two page spread, I use the other side for, I call it two do's, because we all have those. Oh no, my pen's dying. Oh well, I'll add a little yellow. Maybe the yellow doesn't show up here either. Anyway, two do's. Now the fun thing with this is if you're artistic at all, and honestly, I consider myself to be a pretty creative chick, but I'm not a Mr. Dress Up quality artist. So I like to do some fun little doodles. I'm into plants right now. So you just, here we go, look at that. You don't have to be, you know, grand and fancy to just try. It's not that big a deal if you mess up. Some people are so concerned with messing up that they don't ever go for it. And the way I see it is that's exactly it. I'm the only one who sees it. So I'll do what I want. And I hope you will too and give it a try because this is a one of a kind planner and it's simple to do it's easy to fill in I mean look at that and then on the other side this is where I will jot down you know um, maybe while I was 
marking in an appointment or whatever, I might remember something specific that I have to bring to the appointment. Um, I divide it up too. It's not always just to do. Sometimes I'll quickly put down a couple of ideas before I stick it into this book or whatever. This is just a really handy little planner to have at school. And the thing is, is if I fall off the wagon one week and I don't make my calendar, well, who cares? Then I just start into the week I'm on and I don't have to feel bad that I've wasted my planner by not writing in it. Because this book starts where you're at. And who doesn't love that? So there you go. I am all set to mark in what I'm up to from August 2nd to the 8th. And last year, I took it out, but um, I also just keep a tab here so that I can flip to the back and I keep track of instructions that I need for my computer at school, um, any kind of extra task that I have for my friend that is also my library coworker. Um, anything that I need to type out, sometimes I'll do a rough copy in here. It's just really handy. And I also felt like, you know, a little bit of a hypocrite because I was encouraging everybody else to use my notebooks and I was so busy making them for others that I just never did it myself. So. I like being able to whip mine out of my bag and show my friends that it's not hard, you can do it too. Now in the front of here, I left it blank because I'm going to put some cardstock and make another pocket. I always have stuff to stick into pockets. So thanks for tuning in. That was idea number one. I hope you come back because I'm gonna help out the really artsy type people in showing how to make these into an art journal on my next video. Thanks again. Like and subscribe. Have a great day.